Welcome back to the channel, I am Mr. Vaca, and in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at Google Classroom and how students submit their assignments through that platform. Once you've logged into your Google account and invited your students into your Google Classroom, the next thing that you wanna do is to create an assignment and send it to your students. Once you look at your home page, you have up here at the top, stream, classwork, people, and grades. If you click on people, you'll see this is the one student, Laval University, that I have in this one class, and I am the teacher. The next thing you wanna do is click this blue create button, and you'll get to decide what type of assignment you wanna do. Do you wanna give a regular assignment, a quiz assignment, a question, some material, or do you wanna reuse a post? Let's start with a very simple question where I would like students to answer, what did you do over the weekend? Instructions optional, I'm gonna leave it blank. I'm going to give it 100 points. I'm gonna ask the due date to be today, the third. I'm not gonna give an optional time, and I'm not gonna put it under a topic. I'm going to say students can reply to each other, no. I'm gonna let it be a short answer response and students can edit the answer. I do like to let that happen and I'm going to now click the ask button. If I now go and look at the classwork tab, I can see right here, it says, what did you do over the weekend? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of the teacher account and log into the student account so you can see exactly what it looks like from the student perspective. So here is my one classroom. I click on it and it says, view classwork. Some of your classes will have this new page for viewing your assignments. Okay, I got it. You can see right here on the stream, there is the question. Mr. Vaca posted a new question. What did you do over the weekend? If you click on it, you'll get to this screen where you can leave a class comment to the question. That can be very confusing because that is not where you turn the assignment in. Instead, your answer is to the top right, this box right here, that is where you type in your answer to this question, not in the comment section. So for example, I wanted to write, I went to Lake George to visit my family, period. I can now turn it in, press the blue button, and it went from assigned to turned in. I know that I have now completed my assignment. If I went to class comment, this is kind of like on Facebook when someone has a post, you reply to the post that is not turning the assignment in. And you can see here the response. If I typed in, I went to Lake George, this blue submit button is not turn in. Instead, it's the word post. So you need to tell your students in one of these situations where you have a question that the turn in, the box that you wanna answer is in the top right corner right here. And of course, if I made a mistake, I can go back now and edit from my edit button right here. And I wanna make sure though that I hit the turn in to make sure again, that response has been turned in. Going back now to the teacher side, I can click on my question and see that one student has turned it in. If I click on turned in, I can see the exact response. It's from Labo University, and I can give it a number grade right here. I think it's pretty good. I'll give it a 95 out of 100. And if I want, I could leave a private comment saying, fantastic work, Labo University. Post, that will then leave that private comment to the student about their uh, response to my question and you are done. Now I wanna show you one last thing. If I return back to the classroom homepage, I want to now create a new assignment. I would like to create an actual assignment and it's going to be book report test. Instructions, please type in your final draft of this week's book report. Again, I want to have it due on Friday. It's 100 points, no topic. I'm going to assign it. But wait, I want to let students know that all reports must be submitted in 
a Google Doc form. Assign. Okay, now I'm going to flip back over to Labo University, the student perspective, and I want to see what this new assignment looks like. If you can see right here from the stream, the assignment has a different icon than the question. And if you click on that assignment, you have your work, that top right corner, now has add or create. So basically, from here, I can click. I would like to create a Google Doc. It opens up a Google Doc, creates it right there for me. Once it's created, I can type in my book report. Click on my doc that I created. It already titled it Labo University Book Report Test. I type in this is just an example. And now that it's done, there's a turn in button on the top right corner. If you want, you could also go back to your classroom, upload your Google Doc from your drive and just tap turn in right here. Turn in your work and wants to confirm click turn in again and your assignment is officially done and turned in and the teacher can go back and grade it. Thank you to our community members that went out and asked a specific question, how do students turn something in? I hope that this uh, video was helpful for you and if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below. Please, most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.